Well, hi, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hippies and straights from all around the world. This is your old buddy, Dr. Woody. John Konopak, your old professor down there in Albuquerque, New Mexico, with another, or maybe even the first installment of The Bleat Goes On. Sarah Palin and her slattern, round-heeled, drunken daughter, Bristol, are in the forefront of a movement to call a constitutional convention to reverse the liberal successes in race relations, etc., and roll back government regulation since the 1960s. And that's what makes your old professor, you know, pretty much nervous. It is really scary because there's a very good possibility they might succeed. No, really. Forget that the she-bear and her twunt daughter are involved. That's just window dressing to bring the yokels, proles, and drones in. There is a real danger that the right herds can garner enough support in state legislatures to force a convent constitutional convention, which would be the worst kind of disaster from the point of view of uh, popular democracy and such. Don't dismiss this just because it's Caribou Barbie and her teen twunt. They are very attractive to a certain segment of the populace. What you have to remember is that the essential feature of this appeal is in the embedded racial message. This is, in fact, the last stand of white people. People whose first source of identity is their whiteness. They are going to try to use their declining but still substantial status as a racial majority to preserve their fading privileges by rewriting the Constitution to, if not expressly favor their interests, at least to prevent their enemies from using it to project more of their interests. It's not a crazy strategy. The states can demand a constitutional convention if three quarters agree. That's 38 states. They need 38 to convene a constitutional convention, and right now they have 30, with at least three more teetering towards the darkness. This is exactly why the Kochs and the rest are spending so much money in the states on local elections. Wackloon Christoid Fundy Teahattists, i.e. the GOP, are now in the majority in a majority of state legislatures, over 30. They could take New Mexico, they almost did last time, Time and Citizens United are on their side. It's even more insidious on the state level than in federal elections because it's easier to corrupt state local, and local officials because there's less supervision. You might think that a convention to rewrite the Constitution would be a good idea, and I would wonder at your sanity. Who does anyone imagine would direct the institution, organization, management, and outcome of such an undertaking if not the very oligarchs who have worked and spent plentifully for the past 60 years to accomplish what they now enjoy. I cannot think of a single way to have a constitutional convention and prevent it from becoming a ratification of the corporate state. They only need eight more states, share. It's something to worry about. I'll see you at the beach.